Hey, I'm Josh from Redwix and I want to show you how to use the orange. In the basic way how I would always store the orange is like if you give it like half a twist, pulling it up half time, get this outside pin in and get this cord over, hooked in on the recording screw and then uh, closing this dynema here. Up. So that's like the way how I would store the orange and with this you can start rigging. Here there's like the drawing on the front how this should look like. So in this position it works pretty much like a normal weblock. You go with the tail of the webbing through and around the pin. <coughs> so I have here the webbing and on the orange it's actually relatively easy to put the webbing in. I just roll up half rotation more that the pin is on the top really here. I get the pin out and then I can just get the webbing in. The main line is on the top, the backup is um, the tail is on the bottom. And then I need to wiggle a little bit around here until it fits that I'm not catching any webbing and then I'm rolling out here. But it's important to have here that this cord is on this side of the bolt and on the other side the same. If this is getting over it here, it's not blocking nicely, so keep it in this way. And now you can just tension normally, like a normal web lock, just pre-tension. <coughs> and it, now you can continue tensioning with a line grip and hangover redirection. I have here a carabiner in this case because I couldn't find a hangover. Like this I can um, tension the line. Once I'm finished with tensioning the line, I need to go to anti-slip mode because in this position the orange can slip quite a lot. So what I'm doing is first getting the pin out. That's the first step. Flip this out and then pulling the webbing back. And now when I pull on the webbing back here, this cord is getting loose slightly as you can see. And then what I need to do, I need to unhook it on this side, so I pull back until it's loose. I have like this knot, which I can pull, and then it's relatively easy to unhook it. The thing is like, if you have higher tension, it might be hard to hold it with one hand. So what I can do, I use a carabiner, clip it in on the back a bit, do a redirection. Now I can pull here to a certain degree, that this is just about to come loose. I can block it with one hand and easily unhook it and then slowly feed out and then the orange will turn outside. And now I'm in uh, anti-slip mode. The only thing I need to do now is like prevent like the orange from, if you pull on the tail that it accidentally release the web lock, which is not nice. So just put this pin in below the webbing here, so if I pull now, nothing is happening. And what I like to do then is getting this cord above and over this pin. And like this, uh, it's not hanging anywhere and it keeps like a little bit of pre-tension on it. So it's less likely that this pin is falling out. And this cord can be also just attached on the other side and it's kind of cleaned up. And that's it. And now it's ready to highline on or to slackline on, the only thing you need to do is like just doing a backup at the end, like a normal one, but yeah, that's it. Now if you want to uh, retension or release, first get pin out and the cord off. And now if I want to retension, I need to go to the pretension mode. And that's where I can again have like the redirection here in the back. I just pull, doing half a turn until these holes are like pointing in the, to the front. And then I might need to go a little bit further, that's like roughly 45 degrees down, like 30 to 45 degrees down. That's normally a good angle. And then I can get the cord over and hook it in here on the other side. Take care again that this is going on the side of the bolt and on the side of this bolt. And now I'm back to pre-tension mode and I can tension more. If I want to release, so I'm now in anti-slip mode, 
if I want to release, I do the same thing first. I go half a turn, but instead of attaching the cord over here, I get the pin in. So I put the pin in, and then I can relax for a moment because this pin is also preventing from rolling to anti-slip mode again. I can get the cord in here, and what I'm now doing, I pull, and I pull as far until the pin, if you see here, this pin is touching the webbing. And you will see, it's like, until here it's getting relative, it's going relatively easy, until the pin is 90 degree down, and then it's getting more difficult. So what I need to go over this point until the pin is touching the webbing. And now what you can see, if you look carefully, if I release really slowly, I release some tension. If I go fast, it locks. And then, sometimes this is like working like this, and you just like really slowly release and it will work, but um, sometimes not, and then you just need to hold here the orange from preventing to roll out, and you can release like this. So, that's like how you release the orange. Option number one. Okay, so what I want to show you now is like what happens if you have like higher tension and maybe also being in a shit position where you're alone and not really have help of other people to help you pulling. So now we have like slightly less than 2 kilo newton, 1.8 kilo newton on the line, so rather high tension, not all the way trick line tension, but almost. And what I, again, first thing, I get this cordia out, the pin out, and the other cord out. And I do again a redirection. And what I can do now is getting another carabiner and actually use my body weight in this case. So I do a redirection here and come up a bit. Hang in, and I can rotate the orange and get the pin in. Now I can relax a moment. And now I can reposition myself, which is like either I have it like here single redirection only, or if this is like a bit hard, you can get uh, another wrap into it. And then I can pull myself up here a bit. Maybe get on foot, get really close to this here. So I can lock it with one arm, and now I can press with my feet against the tree or against the wall, and press. Oops, my safety is getting engaged again. Up. Press until this pin is touching the webbing again. And now I have like two options. Option number first again, if it's closed, I pull this loop backwards. In this case, you need to always like make really sure if you do this that you do this only once the pin is touching the webbing. In case you are like here and you start pulling this loop backwards, you might have the problem that um, there's some webbing and wrapping friction and you burn the webbing. So just do this really once. You have like really a strong hold on the tail here and there's like the main force. And the other thing is like sometimes with high tension, it can actually be quite hard to keep this open and release. So I can try now if this in which way this is working, so I can hold here. So this is working now in this case, but sometimes depending also if you have like a webbing in for a longer time, it's getting a bit stiff and so on, and especially in the beginning, it's quite hard to release. So what you can do then, you can get this cord over here and hook it in on the other side. Um, yeah, so you see it's hooked in on the other side, it's over here, and now I can release and this cord is preventing basically the orange from rolling out and I can have like have a lot of control here and can release relatively high tension alone. And it's like you just need to pull once and here in this case you can really well use your body weight. If you have like a rolling carabiner here instead of a normal carabiner, it's even working better because you just can push harder, pull harder. Um, yeah, that's also like a way how you can release if you're alone and also like in a different situ difficult situation against the wall or so, you can just press out nicely.
And like this I can release whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. So I want to show you uh, one thing which you need to check on the orange. So once you finish tensioning, you unhook the cord and you let it roll out. And then what you need to check is that the webbing here is nicely aligned. So in this case you see there's like a gap and here the webbing is pressing relatively strongly against the side plate. That's not nice. There's like a tiny bit touching the side plate, that's not po no problem at all. But as soon as it like starts folding or so, that's not good. And then you should show you how to fix this. So you just roll back again, half a rotation, that you're back in pre-tensioning mode basically. What I'm doing now, now I'm pulling on this side where it was touching the webbing. So it was touching on this side. So I'm pulling um, this leg here down. And now what you can see, the more I pull it, the further it works to the other side. And now I can roll it out. And I just keep it in the middle. And now after releasing, you see it's like pretty much perfectly aligned. So that's easy to fix it. In case, so that's like can happen like if you have like a shackle, often it happens if you have a shackle behind you which is like not really straight but a bit to the side. That makes that like the orange is like not sitting like perfectly aligned. And that can happen sometimes and you just like easily do this. If it turns out to always happen again and especially like if you now fix this and you have a session and after um, one or two sessions like you see again it's like strongly pulling against one side. Then please contact us and we will show you how you can fix this.